Okay, I'm going to show you the quick way to solve a linear programming problem without with Excel. Uh, previously, I showed you how to use a graphical method, but I'm just going to show you the quick and dirty way, the quickest way to solve this on Excel. So basically, here's a problem right here. I set it up over here on Excel. So I just copied all this information. This is a typical linear programming problem. And I just set it up over here under the given area. And I suggest right now you pause the video and you type this in here and you can do it along with me. I hope you remember how to do it. So pause the video right now, type this in, and then once you got that typed in, we'll proceed. Okay, so now you should have this typed in. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. Very easy to solve this type of problem on Excel. You don't need Lindo or Lingo or any of those programs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these four down here and put them in my solution area. And I'm going to leave a blank, and I'm going to copy all this stuff over here just for reference. Okay, and um, we're going to try and guess. We're going to try and guess these two, so I'm going to copy them down here. And right now I'm just going to put some numbers in there. I'm going to have Excel change these numbers to maximize this Z. But I'm just going to put my guess in here first, and you'll see when I... When I run this on Excel, it's going to change those numbers. So the next thing I want to do, so that's all you have to do is just set it up like that. Copy, copy this stuff down. And then I'm going to highlight these four. And while these four are highlighted, I'm going to go in here and we go equals matrix multiply. And I want to multiply these eight cells times what I'm guessing down here. I'm going to close the parentheses. Now this is important. This, since this is a matrix function, you've got to hit Control Shift and then Enter. Okay, so you hold down Control and you hold down Shift and then you hit the Enter key. All right, so you're going to hold Control Shift Enter instead of Enter. All right, and now so you highlight those four. Let me put the formula right here. Okay, so you highlight these four. Don't type what's in these curly brackets. Just type in this middle part, and then hit Control Shift Enter, and then it'll put that in there. You can't type. Now you go up here. You see these little curly brackets. You can't type them. The only way you get those is by hitting Control Shift Enter. Okay, so I'm going to hit Escape. So now that I have this set up, I'm going to go into Solver. Solver is over here in Data. And I've told you on previous videos, if Solver is not there, all you have to do is go to File, Options. And then add-ins. Once add-ins comes up, you hit go. If you click this this right here, and go OK, solver will appear. If you've done it once, solver will always be there. Okay, and then we're going to go into solver. And I want to maximize this. So this, see, yeah, this has to be maximized. And I want to change these two cells here that I guess. I have to add some constraints. I'm going to say my durability is greater than or equal to 40. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say strength is greater than or equal to 24. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say time is less than 14. And I'm going to go OK. So I have my constraints in. I'm going to have this clicked here, make unconstrained variables non-negative. That, that, that's what that's for right there, right? OK, so I just messed this up, so I'm going to have to highlight this. OK. That's my objective. I got to maximize. So this here just uh, takes care of that. And you want to make sure this is in simplex, simplex LP. And if you go to solve, and I go OK, you'll see it changed everything here. So this has changed from three three to that. So that's my answer. That's where it maximizes. And this is the value at maximum. Okay. Now sometimes you want to know the surplus. Sometimes you want to know the surplus, or, or if there's any surplus, or if there's any slack. Okay, so surplus only happens when you have this greater than or equal to. So surplus is going to be equal to this minus this. So there's no surplus there, but the strength does have surplus. And the slack is only when it's less than or equal to, and the slack would be equal to um, this. Minus. 
this. Oh, I forgot to put an equal sign. Okay, and there's no slack for that one. So there is surplus in the strength. There's no slack. So, there, so, so anyway, so that's a quick way to do it. I want to do this video in five minutes or less. It took me five minutes and 15 seconds, but I just wanted to show you this is not very hard at all to solve on Excel. You do some matrix formula in here. You set it up the way I set it up. It'll do it very quickly. Um, so hopefully that helps. Uh, if you like my video, click subscribe. I think it'll be down below, or else you can click on my picture. I'll put my picture right here. That will also subscribe. Please subscribe if you like this, because uh, recently Google quit paying me for my videos because I didn't have a thousand subscribers. I normally didn't ask for subscribers previously. I didn't know they were going to do that to me. So anytime anybody that subscribes helps me out a little bit. So please subscribe. If you like the video, hit like. All right. Thank you. Bye.